When you think of supply chain problems, you might picture busy ports in California or the ever given stuck in the Suez Canal. But the border between the US and Canada is a major bottleneck in the supply chain. Some of the most important pieces of infrastructure in the area are the bridges that connect Windsor and Detroit. Because they're so important, people have been trying to build the best one. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is the newest one. It will be the longest cable stayed bridge in North America, pushing the limits of engineering. This isn't just a crossing though. It's also a chance to start a business, since bridges can make money. And you can make a lot of money here. The US and Canada do more business with each other than anyone else in the world. In 2021, the US traded 664 BN worth of goods with Canada instead of China, making Canada the US's most important trading partner. Nearly a quarter of that trade goes on between Detroit and Windsor. More than $300 million worth of goods, like car parts, cosmetics, and even blood, move between the two cities every day. That means that a lot of money is spent on taxes and tolls on bridges like this one. Most of the time, toll money is used to pay back the cost of building and maintaining the structure. But in the 20th century, most toll bridges were taken over by state highway departments. However, a few toll bridges are still owned by private companies. One of them is the 92-year-old Ambassador Bridge, which is only a few miles from the new Gordie Howe Bridge. Since 1929, a private company has run the Ambassador Bridge. In the late 1970s, the bridge was taken over by billionaire Manuel Matty Marone. Some trucks have to pay $45 to cross it today. In 2021, the four-lane bridge was used by an average of 263 trucks per hour. Reuters says that on very busy days, there are more like 500 trucks an hour. All of this traffic is good for business, but it makes it hard to get around. So a new bridge is being built right next to the old one. The Gordie Howe International Bridge, also known as the Detroit River International Crossing, is a planned cable state bridge that will connect the cities of Detroit, Michigan in the United States and Windsor, Ontario in Canada. The bridge is named in honor of the late Canadian ice hockey player Gordy Howe, who played for the Detroit Red Wings for 25 seasons. Construction on the bridge is set to begin in 2023, with an estimated completion date of 2028. The bridge will be approximately 2.5 miles long and will have six lanes for vehicles and a dedicated lane for buses and trucks. It will also include a pedestrian and bicycle path, making it accessible to non-motorized transportation. The Gordie Howe International Bridge will serve as a vital link between the United States and Canada, as it will provide a new crossing option for the heavily traveled Detroit-Windsor corridor. It will also help to alleviate traffic congestion on the existing Ambassador Bridge, which is currently the only bridge connecting the two cities. In addition to its practical benefits, the Gordie Howe International Bridge is also expected to have a significant economic impact. It will create jobs during construction and will also help to boost trade and commerce between the United States and Canada. The project has been in the works for many years, with planning and design work starting in 2005 and the Canadian government announcing its intention to build the bridge in 2012. The project faced some delays and obstacles, including legal challenges and funding issues. But ultimately the construction of the bridge is moving forward. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is not only a crucial infrastructure project, the bridge will serve as a reminder of the shared history and cultural ties that bind the two nations together, while also providing a vital link for trade and commerce. But there has also been a battle for the bridges. Do you remember Manuel Marone, the man who owned the Ambassador Bridge? Well, he also owned the duty-free shops at the end of the bridge and tunnels. Because why not own everything? Marone made a lot of money from this trade route, and he didn't want someone else to take traffic away from his empire. So in 2004, when a new bridge was suggested, he did everything he could to stop it. The shop owner took Canada and Michigan to court to stop the building of the wall. The entrepreneur proposed building a second section of the Ambassador Bridge, which he would own, instead of a new bridge that the public would own. Marone spent millions of dollars trying to pass a ballot measure that would have made it harder for the bridge to be built. But the measure didn't pass. He even put an ad on cable TV asking then-President Trump to stop the building of the wall. Well, Mr. President, there are two grand new bridges being proposed in Detroit between America and Canada. After almost 20 years of fighting, Moran's plans failed, 
and building started in 2018. The next year, Trump gave the Gordie Howe Bridge $15 million from the government. Even though the political fight took a lot of time and work, the engineering challenge of building the Gordie Howe Bridge still lay ahead. The building will be held up by a network of cables that spread out from two main towers that will support the weight of the road. On a suspension bridge, the cables are spread out on a suspender between the towers. For a while, suspension bridges like the Golden Gate Bridge and the George Washington Bridge were the most common way to cross mid-length distances in the United States. But as the design of cable-stayed bridges got cheaper, faster and better, they started to be used again. Two huge towers, one on each side of the Detroit River, will hold up the Gordie Howe Bridge. The towers reach a height of 220 meters and are shaped like the curve of an ice hockey stick. Since this is Canada and the bridge is named after a famous hockey player, it makes sense. The unbalanced cantilever method will be used to build the main part of the bridge out over the water. One piece of the bridge will be added at a time, starting with the towers on the shore, until they meet in the middle. A crane will place steel girders and floor beams at the edge of the road to make the base of the road. Then, precast concrete slabs are added and fresh concrete is poured on top to hold them together. The cables will then be lifted from the road deck by a crane and attached to the top of the tower. This is done again and again until the two sides meet in the middle. Each section can take up to 12 days to put together and everything can be moved over the bridge so that nothing has to be moved through the water below. When it's done, there will be six lanes for cars and a path for people walking and riding bikes. This project is important for the American infrastructure because bridges all over the country are getting old and need to be replaced. There are a number of potential difficulties that could arise during the construction of the Gordie Howe International Bridge. Some of the main challenges include Funding The cost of building the bridge is estimated to be around $5.7 billion and finding the necessary funding for such a large project can be challenging. The project has been funded through a public-private partnership which involves private companies investing in the construction and maintenance of the bridge in exchange for the right to collect tolls. Environmental concerns. The bridge will be built over the Detroit River, which is a major waterway and home to a variety of wildlife, including fish, birds and turtles. There are concerns that the construction of the bridge could have negative impacts on the environment and measures will need to be taken to minimize these impacts. Legal challenges. The construction of the bridge has faced legal challenges from various parties, including the owners of the existing Ambassador Bridge, who have argued that the new bridge is not needed and that it would compete with their own bridge. The legal challenges have caused delays in the project and added to the overall cost. Community and property acquisition. In order to build the bridge, the government will need to acquire land and property from private individuals and businesses. This process can be complex and time-consuming, and it is also likely to face resistance from some members of the community. Logistics and construction challenges. Building a bridge of this size and complexity is a major undertaking and requires careful planning and coordination. There will be logistical challenges in terms of the movement of materials and equipment, as well as the coordination of multiple contractors and construction teams. Time frame. The construction project is expected to be completed in 2028, which is a long time frame, and there will be a lot of challenges and obstacles that will need to be overcome in order to stay on schedule. The Gordie Howe Bridge is an amazing piece of engineering, but what's even better is that it could change for the better one of the most important border crossings in the world. And maybe all the drama in politics will finally be a thing of the past.